Jeremy, let's say that you have, uh, you feel like your control's locked up. You've got a little simple program in here. That's why I'm just using one for demonstration purposes. And everything looks right. You even go through your graphics. Like, oh yeah. All I just want to do is simple line across. I want to do a little facing cut. Everything looks great. So you go to run it. And let's just flip it around so we can see it running. And I've got it in 5% rapid just because I'm proofing it out. I don't want nothing to screw up. And I'll go in there and yep, it feeds down. And wait a minute, the control's locked up. It's not moving. So if we look, we see our green light is on. So it says the control's running. And it just seems like the control's locked up. Well, I can tell you I've ran Haas for close to 30 years and I've never seen a control lock up. Um, so you're like, what in the world's wrong? I've got it, I, I fed down at 30 inches a minute. I'm feeding across at 10 inches a minute. Should be working. Well, it is working. If you look, it is moving very, very slowly. So whenever you forget a decimal point besides your feed rate, instead of 10 inches a minute, it's moving 10. Let me think about it, 10 one, one tenths per minute. I believe it's the correct one. Anyway, it's moving extremely slow. So you're thinking the control's locked up because everything's running, but it's not moving. Well, it is moving. So it's a simple fix. Just kill it. Go over here. It's hard to see the little decimal in there, but change it to 10 point, alter, run it. And we can see here And I'm not taking an actual cut. I'm just, and it's feeding at 10 inches a minute. If you look over at our feed rate, you can see it moving on. So the moral of the story is whenever you think the control is locked up, more than likely you forgot to put a decimal point after a feed rate. Hope this helps you out in proofing your programs out.